Things such as coins and stamps will eventually have the queen's image phased out. Although the process of phasing out the queen's image will begin immediately, it will take a while for it to fully happen. Upon her death, Queen Elizabeth Roman II's image will stop being produced on coins and stamps and will be replaced with Charles's image assuming he is the new monarch. It will probably take years for the new currency to completely replace the old. Eventually, everything bearing the Queen's image or initials will have to be changed, both in the United Kingdom and all of the Commonwealth countries. Queen's death, namely her funeral, will cost Great Britain billions of dollars. The day of the Queen's funeral will be one of the biggest events Great Britain has encountered in decades and the most expensive. It's not the cost of the funeral that is going to cost Britain billions of dollars, however. It's the fact that in the days leading up to her funeral, the country effectively shuts down. The stock market will close the day of the funeral as well as most shops. Soccer stadiums will hold all the mourners who didn't make it on the elite 2,000 person funeral guest list, the logistics of which will be enormously expensive. The day of the funeral and Prince Charles's eventual coronation will become national holidays, costing the country billions in lost earnings. On the day of her funeral, Expect to hear nothing but the sound of Big Ben at 9 am by 11 am. The country will have gone completely quiet to honor their queen. There will be 10 days between her death and the official funeral. One of the key things that will happen after Queen Elizabeth Roman II dies is the period of mourning. For 10 days, the country will be in an official state of mourning which will end with her funeral. The day of her death is considered D-Day, and the list of events that occur within the 10-day period after her death are already laid out. For example, Charles is proclaimed King on D plus 1, and her funeral occurs on D plus 9. During the period of mourning, the country will likely fall into a depression greater than it's seen in a long time, given the love the people have for Queen Elizabeth Roman II. Much of the country doesn't know a time before Elizabeth Roman II, indeed as is true with the rest of the world. There are a number of plans in case the Queen doesn't die in London. The detailed protocol for Elizabeth Roman II's death heavily relies on the Queen dying in London. Things can go a bit haywire if there aren't precise rules to follow, which is why nearly every single event is accounted for. If the Queen dies abroad, a royal jet will charter a royal coffin and royal undertakers. The process gets even more complicated if she dies in Scotland, where she spends a few months a year. In that case, a full Scottish ritual will take place at the Scottish Royal Palace Holyrood House, and then the Queen's body will be taken back to London by a train. The public will be allowed to throw flowers, meaning a second train will have to follow to clean up the mess. Her body will eventually have to reach Buckingham Palace, no matter where she ends up dying. The news won't be official until Buckingham Palace pins a literal note to the palace gates. After the Queen's secretary and the Prime Minister are alerted, and the information is spread to the other Commonwealth countries, it's time for the public to be told that their monarch is dead. Obviously, by this point rumors will have more than certainly begun to spread. But the news isn't considered official until a note is pinned to the gates of Buckingham Palace. Yes, the official notice comes in the form of a written note physically put on the palace gates. A footman dressed in morning gear completes the task and only then can the online part of London Bridge begin. The palace website will change to a single black page with only the news of the Queen's death. 
press association will be notified, and the statement will be published online and in print all over the world. Prince Charles becomes king the moment Elizabeth Roman II dies. Princess Elizabeth was only 26 when her father died, and she immediately became Queen Elizabeth Roman II. Her official coronation came about a year later, but the moment King George VI died, Elizabeth became Queen of England. The tradition will continue when Elizabeth Roman II dies, making her son, Prince Charles, King. Some believe the monarchy should skip a generation, passing over Prince Charles for his son, Prince William. However, there is no chance this will happen, meaning as long as Charles outlives his mother, he will become king immediately upon her death. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.